Good morning, Outmall. I'm Dante. Today is Friday, April 29th, and here are your morning announcements. Calling all LGBTQ youth in grades 10th, 11th, and 12th. Join us for the Unprom for a night of music, dancing, refreshments, photos, and fun. Sponsored and hosted by Seville Pride, chaperones will be present. When Saturday, May 7th, 2016, from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., Ware Kitchen, 607 Ravana Ave, Charlottesville. This is a safe, place, safe space to be your true self. Allies and Friends welcome ninth graders may come as dates with 10th through 12th graders. Email info at cvillepride.org with questions. The SCA is sponsoring a drive for clothing and household items to benefit the Salvation Army. They will be collecting clothing, kitchenware, sporting goods, curtains or bedding, bikes, and furniture. Donation will be collected from April 27th to May 27th during long lunch at the SA Cafe window. Please help out and take some time out of your day to make a difference. Contact a SCA representative if you have any questions. Are you a beginning French student? Have you taken French once or never taken it at all? Do you want to get, it, get ahead and start your French classes next year? The University of Virginia Summer Language Institute has an intensive French language program this summer for high school and undergrad students. The program lasts eight weeks and begins June 13th. Registrations are still open, but closing soon. Please contact Mr. Herring in room 127 for more information. The AHS leadership classes are excited to announce that next week there will be a Twitter competition for Teacher Appreciation Week. If AHS can be, get the hashtag AHS Appreciation trending on Twitter, there will be a school-wide prize. Tweet about something you appreciate about one of your teachers with this hashtag and forward it to at AHS teachers so teachers can see their tweets. Good luck and go Pats! Attention all Spanish Honor Society members. There will be a guacamole making con competition on Thursday, May 5th to honor Cinco de Mayo. T-shirts are being sold for $10. Contact an officer to find out more information. The winner will get a gift card to Target and a free T-shirt. There will be a raffle for all who entering to give a, that will be giving away t-shirts as well. Good luck. In sports news, all the games got rained out, but here's Caroline with the Patriot Report. Welcome to the Patriot Report. I'm Caroline and I'm here today to talk about soccer. So what has made your season successful this far? Oh wow, uh, good question Caroline. We um, started weightlifting in I think November 30th, uh, so we've been grinding it out in the weight room all in the off season. Did some nice strength and conditioning to prepare for this season, the girls that were able to um, all until February and then we hit the ground running in February, already in shape, already you know stronger than we have been in the past. Um, and we got some good, you know, talent coming back uh, at the start of the season. Mixed in some fresh faces, um, some new talent, and uh, we've just been running ever since. Uh, part of our success is the chemistry that we all have together. We're friends off the field, which contributes to our success on the field. Um, part of it is we know that the way we practice prepares us for how we play in the game. So that just helps us um, to really push ourselves in practice and grind. One thing that I also think is really important is that even though we have a super young team this year, everyone kind of steps up and is that leader on the field. So that's really nice to see. And what are some goals that you have for this season? Uh, we have some pretty lofty goals this year. We're trying to make a run uh, in the postseason to make it to states. Um, you know, kind of you know working off of what the guys have done in the past um, with their uh, you know postseason play. So we're trying to you know finish out the district uh, at, on the top, uh, finish in conference at number one. Um, you know crack that regional semi game, which we haven't done yet, and then hit states this year. All right, and how do you plan to <laughs> keep the success rate up? Uh, well, we try to motivate the girls in different ways, um, whether that's um, you know different stuff at practice, whether it's team bonding or different challenges that we have going on uh, during games, you know, in games that we uh, should, you know, kind of handle. Um, you know, successfully, we try to challenge them with uh, playing in unique, different ways, so that when we are in those tough games, um, you know, our our good competitive side starts to come out. Our goals are to be district champs and then conference champs, move on to regionals, become champs for that, and go to states. 
Yeah, our main goal is to go to states, but I think as a team we also set goals. So on the field before we play every game, we'll say we want to play in one or two touch, or we want to try to get our outside backs involved. And so that's what we really focus on, and that's what makes us successful. Leticia. Leticia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And who's the best singer? Gracie. 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 <laughs> Hannah. Yeah. Hannah. What is the boy. worst habit that Coach Cheryl has? She said, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to thank Coach Jackson and Coach Cheryl for their time today. Go Patriots. That's all for today. And now here's a final installation of Teacher on a Beach. You know, during this time of stress and exams and testing, I like to remember what my friend William S. Burroughs said. Your mind will answer most questions you have. If you just learn to relax, the answers will come. Thank you. <laughs>